Hey there. Are you tired of your thumbnails looking dull and lifeless? Do you want to make your thumbnails like Mr. Beast? Well, you came to the right place. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make Mr. Beast thumbnail color correction. And trust me, it's easier than convincing your mom to buy you a brand new PC. Let us look at Mr. Beast's thumbnails and take some notes. This thumbnail is a good example. When we look at Mr. Beast's face, we can see that it's very bright and smooth. He doesn't have any wrinkles or lines on his face. His facial hair and eyebrows stand out against his smooth skin, creating a strong contrast. His teeth are also very bright and white, which makes his mouth look vibrant and smooth. To make this, first, get your image and cut out your background. After that, we need to make your skin smooth and pretty. How I like to do this is just coping the image and creating the clipping mask. You can do that by right-clicking on the image and duplicating a layer. Just click OK. Right-click on New Layer and Create Clipping Mask. Now we will go on Filter and Camera Filter. Here you will need to adjust two sliders, Texture and Noise Reduction. For Texture I will move the slider to minus 50. And for Noise Reduction, I will move it to about 60 to 70. Then you'll make mask on that layer and invert it. Take your brush, pick a white color and lower the flow a little bit. Now you can start painting. Next thing I do is dodge and burning. You're just applying shadows and highlights. To do that, you'll just need to make two curves layers and an apply clipping mask on them. Now you will pick the first one. You can call it burn, and second one, you can call it dodge. Take on the burn layer, go to properties and just lower a middle area down. Now just invert the mask, pick brush again, and lower flow. For this part, you can just follow what I do. Now click on dodge and move middle part up. Just invert the mask and starting again. Just paint the light areas. Next thing that Mr. Beast is doing is making eyes and teeth wider and brighter. For that, we need to make teeth brighter by creating another curves layer. Moving it up and creating clipping mask. Now invert the mask and start painting teeth. To make teeth wider, you will make hue and saturation layer. Now create clipping mask and just lower saturation. Now invert the mask and start painting over the teeth. Next we'll make eyes pop. For that, we need to make white part of the eyes brighter and wider. And for eyes itself, we need to make color more saturated. First, we'll do eye color for that. Make hue and situation layer. Click create clipping mask. Click color. Eyes now. Make situation about 50. Move hue to color of your eyes in my situation. It's blue now invert the mask and start painting over eyes. Now we want to make color of skin more red like Mr. Beast do on every single thumbnail. For that, we will make selective color layer. Make a clipping mask. Here, choose red. Then move cyan to left. This will make your skin look so much better and more cartoony. For next part, I like to do camera filter. I just select all of this layer. Click Ctrl J. Right click and convert to smart object. Now clipping mask. Go to filter. Camera filter. You can play with settings here because it's not same for every image. I usually turn up exposure. And the a bit contracts then I lower highlights. Turn upper shadows and whites. Add a bit of sharpening and a bit of noise reduction. And that's usually it. You can just click on OK. If you have something in your image, like blackheads or something like that, you can just use patch tool. You select the part that you don't like, move it somewhere else and it'll fix it. Next thing that Mr. Beast usually do is change color of his t-shirt. For that, you'll just make new hue and situation layer. To turn it black you will just lower situation to minus 100 and lower lightness. Now invert the layer, create clipping mask and start painting over the t-shirt. And that's it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.